When I register and vote, it gives me a sense that I've got a stake, a share in the outcome, that I'm invested in, my, in this country and that I'm a part of the process that makes decisions, that make it happen. They take a part in shaping the destiny of not only themselves, but of the future generations that are to come. Because it is with your vote that you, your voice is heard. You become a part of this wonderful thing that in America we call a democracy. When you register and vote, you are able to choose different things that you want to happen in the community. If you do not register and vote and only complain about certain laws that are passed, it's because you're not out there to register and vote. We put ourselves in the position of giving back and uh, doing that which is required by our Constitution. Uh, when we give back, we are, uh, are electing people who hopefully will, will pass laws that will help improve uh, our society and, and our opportunities. It gives you the power to um, not just change the world, because you do change the world by voting, but you have to start locally with your own community. And that's what voting gives you the power to do. It allows you to change the world one community at a time, and starting with your own community, it gives you that power. People sometimes don't understand that when a man under begins to understand that he can control you by keying in certain responses, then he does that. When you move outside of that norm and do what is unexpected, you take control of your own destiny and your own life. That's what voting does. Voting allows you to step to the wire and say, I'm going to choose this day, this day, I'm going to choose what my destiny is ultimately gonna be by helping to be a part of the process of electing people who see things the way I see them. We have the opportunity of electing people who we feel will benefit our situation in terms of the laws that are passed. Now, if these individuals do not do what they say they're going to do, we as citizens have the right to monitor the, the way they behave in government. You can go online. You can see how these people are voting on various legislations from, from the city, county, state, and federal. So we can hold them accountable. And we hold them accountable by voting them out of office if they're not doing what they promised to do. There's different laws that are trying to be passed or taken away. If you register and vote and learn about those laws, you can help make change come into the community and into the states. One big thing that's been very relevant in my generation or generations following my school shootings. And I believe that's something that can be rectified through voting. I think the law on abortions is a big thing for us in America. You should not have to tell anyone what to do with their body. It's their choice at the end of the day. We are not God. I think that young people have a way at this point in time to effectively change the system. If recreational marijuana is allowed, not only does it help, it's been proven that it helps people. And let me be clear, I've never used marijuana in my life. <laughs> However, it has been proven that it has helped people with medical conditions like epilepsy, people that have used chemotherapy, but more importantly, you will see a reduction in the number of people that are in the criminal justice system. And those people that are in the criminal justice system for those drug offenses are primarily minorities. So I think this is a way in which it can systematically affect the criminal justice system in African Americans. In every election you hear, and I've heard, that this is an important election and that you got to get out and vote. This one is particularly important because I think it has nothing to do with political party in terms of Republican or Democrat. I think it has to do with whether or not our constitutional federalist republic is going to be there if the wrong person gets into office. I think that what we've seen from January 6, 2021, 
that things can get really badly. And, and I think that, you know, there's no time like the presence. I think the urgency of now is that the most decision, the most important decision you make is the one that you're facing now. Next four years from now, there'll be another decision. But this year, this vote, it's an important vote because so many of the values that we hold daily are, are on the ballot. And we need to vote as if they matter. Let your voice be heard and pick a leader for, for yourself. Right now, our democracy is at stake. When you look at the things that are trying to be changed, you're looking at women's rights. Um, you're looking at personal freedoms that are looking at being attacked. And so when you look at, and, and, and this is the problem that unfortunately a lot of people don't see, when you start chipping away at the small things, then they start looking at the bigger things. So right now, you know, it may be women's rights. Tomorrow, it may be race. The next day, it may be something else. So we have to make sure that we protect our freedoms when we have them. Because if we don't and sit and do nothing, and we start losing them, then we've gained nothing. And all the sacrifices that our parents and our grandparents have made have been for nothing.